everybody welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna to talk about four ingredients for a happy marriage Ooh, hoo -hoo. four ingredients for a happy marriage so um, if you're new to this channel I'd like you to subscribe and I'd like you to share with all your friends because this is very good that is gonna help us to spicy up our marriage so anyway I'll go straight to the point so the four ingredients to a happy marriage one is that you need to spend time together as a couple you need to spend time together you need uh, to book vacations you know if you can't afford vacation even just going anywhere just to spend time together as a couple because when you spend when you kind of not spending time together that's a room that is a bad thing something different because why you're not spending time with somebody else and then the other person might start having interest in something else so you kind of need to prioritize your marriage and spend time together for example date nights sometimes you know maybe once a week or maybe once in two weeks go out with your with your partner and you know no children just the two of you go out and talk and just kind of catch up of where, on where you are that's very very important and number two you need a life in a marriage you need a life in a marriage. We can't just say, oh, because now I'm married, I'm married, so everything just, we leave them like that. No, you need a life in a marriage. You need to kind of have your own friends and he has his own friends and you have friends that you have together. So it's very important that when you have a life in your marriage, you have hobbies and you're doing things like that, you know, you just kind of not just depending on, on your partner continuously and everything. Like, otherwise, they'll get tired or you get tired the other way around. But you kind of need to have your own kind of life. And, you know, you have your friends and you have things that you like to do and all those kind of things. And then you kind of even have like friends that you have together that you do things together. That's very, very important that we all have a life in a marriage. Not just you just at home. You just don't do anything else. You just, you know, you're just there. No you kind of have to have a life in a marriage number three you need to marry somebody you know in, in marriage they should be basic values basic values for instance you need to have trust trust should be there respect respect and transparency you know it doesn't matter who's wrong who's right but just for you to be able to say you're sorry those are some of the things that helps that are good ingredients to a marriage you know you need to have a situation whereby i can leave my phone anywhere you can come back to it and see it and it's not a problem you know we should be able to trust one another i should be able to respect you in everything that we do so that is very very important in a marriage it's really really important so we need to work on our trust issues we need to work on how we respect and how we talk to one another that is something that is very important in a happy marriage and lastly guys the last ingredient for happy marriages we need guys we need to pray together you need to pray together with your partner it's very important sometimes yeah there'll be days when you want but it's very very important to come together late in the night or whatever time you go to bed and pray together you know because you know when you're praying that you're, you're being honest with god so like if he was if, if he upset you or whatever it is that's a good time that you, you'll be even able to hear that oh okay so i did something different. you need to pray together that is a very, very, very good. I think it's one of the highest ingredient. That is the major ingredient that you need for a happy marriage, praying together. So what did I say? We need to pray together. We need to spend time together. We need to have a life in our marriage and we need to have basic values such as trust, such as respect, such as transparency. So those are the things that we need for a happy, happy marriage just that's one of those are some of the things that you can implement in your marriage you work on your marriage to make sure that it is happy marriage so guys i hope you really enjoyed this video today if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up i'll be so so grateful and don't forget to share with your friends, with your cousins, with your everybody, your neighbors, everybody that you know that is married or everybody that is 
this is actually even a good if you if you're not married it's actually good to know some of the things some of these things that you need to know knowing about the basic values knowing about you know spending time together because knowing about having life that one i like that one it's very good for somebody to have your own life in your in in, in marriage you kind of have your own life and you're secure in yourself in the things that you're doing and then you know you bring everything together so guys have to love you and leave you and keep shining keep shining 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 and take care till next time Ta-da!